Right, fuckers, welcome back to Son of Scotland 90, bring you some more Total Extreme Wrestling 2013. It is Saturday, week one, Ring of Honor show. We've got a lot of people missing tonight, so we're going to have to make do with a, a shitty roster with no AJ Styles. We don't have the machine guns, we don't have the young bucks, we don't have John Morrison or John Hennigan or uh, Johnny Mundo, whoever you want to fucking call him, we don't have him. So we're going to have to go into tonight's show. We do make up somebody though, but we don't have any of those guys, so let's run the show. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a good one. We'll see if it can deliver. So we've got the returning mischief here and then an awful match that was completely devoid of heat. Mischief defeated at Mandy Leon in 6-10 by pinfall for Code Green in 22E minus. But well, the announcing quality, Big Jim Ross here on the commentary team helping out Ring of Honor big time. <laughs> and this gave the mischief is improving in performance skills. Mandy Leon is improving in rumble and technical skills. Yeah, so... Maybe looking to bring in a few faces here and start a, a heel group, perhaps. But we'll see what happens. Twenty-two E plus. I don't think the I don't think it really affects it because it's the pre-show. But anyway, we're in the two thousand arena. <laughs> we're in the twenty-three hundred arena, and we've only got two thousand. I think we need to expand because we always sell out this arena. So yeah, the twenty-three game of Jesus here, by the way, in this video, 20. just to let everybody know, the twenty-three hundred arena only holds twenty-three hundred people. And we sell it every time, so. Yeah, well, is that not what it's called, though? Well, yeah, but. Right, anyway, moving on to the second pre show about. And it, and, and, oh, for God's sake. An extremely poor match. The Wallace Cruz tagged and defeated the romantic touch, and Donovan Djak in 6.37 when Joey Styles defeated Djak by pinfall. If that 70s kick, that's got a 36 D minus. Joey Styles, eh? Joey, yeah, Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan, son. 88%. Um, so, anyway. Don't know. D-Jack's improving in rumble skills. Jim Ross again helped move the big boys. So we're about to move on to the real show. It's got a, it's got to be an action-packed show. I can't wait for this. Let's go. We kick off Ring of Honor with the TV and the World Heavyweight Champion. Jay Lethal comes out with both belts wrapped around his waist. And he says that tonight, like you normally, the TV title defends the uh, his championship against anybody from the Ring of Honor roster. But tonight... Jay Lethal is offering anybody in the entire world a title shot at his TV championship. All they have to do is arrive here before tonight's main event and they can get some if they want some. So this guy's a 48D+. Plus. We, gave, we gave him the freedom and he clearly enjoyed having the freedom to go off script and he performed well. So 48D plus there. So why don't I get 48D there? It's Jay Lethal, mate, and it's Ring of Honor, and that's actually not a bad rating for him to kick off the show on a promo. So anyway... So I should be expecting like an A, from like Triple oh, H. Fuck no, uh, well, uh. well, let's go moving on here to the second... Oh, Christ. The first match of the night, an extremely poor match. Moose Maryland defeated BJ Whitmore in 6.34 by pinfall. Again, the color commentary helped the match. Moose is improving in technical skills. 30 E+, plus, not good. Let's move on. So we have an angle, uh, we've got Delirious backstage and he's cutting a promo on uh, Nakamura and he's saying that the two of them could have made good teammates but Nakamura, as always, has to, he believes he's better than everyone, he has to always have the spotlight on him, he has to be showing off whether it be in Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling, NXT, the whole, all eyes have to be on Nakamura and that's why the two of them couldn't get along and he says when he meets Nakamura, in the middle of the ring, he says the spotlight will be on him because he will defeat Nakamura when they meet. That's got a 38 D minus. I was expecting a wee bit better to be honest, but it is what it is. Moving on with a 10 man battle royal to determine the new number one contender for the world heavyweight title here on Ring of Honor, featuring Adam Cole, Adam Page, Saban, Kasarian, Jay Briscoe, Kenny King, Mark Briscoe, Matt Sedalia, Mike Wilgan, and Roderick Strong. Jeez. And a match of the average crowd reaction, some decent ring action. Matt Sedal won a battle royal in 12-16. The other members of the final four were Frankie Kasarian, Jay Briscoe and Michael Elgin. With Frankie Kasarian being the final eliminated, Jay Briscoe got the most eliminations over the course of the match. That's got a 55C minus. Mark Briscoe seemed off his game tonight, unfortunately. Nobody improved. And after the match, Matt Sedal offers to shake the hand of Frankie Kasarian, who accepts the handshake, then cheaps to... Cheap shots, Sadal afterwards has got a 34 E plus was expecting a wee bit better. Um yeah, so not good there, 34 E plus, not great. 
And then with Nico, now yeah, with Nigel McGuinness backstage here, and he's interviewed uh, Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal says he's got Nigel it all. He's, he's part of the <laughs> he's part of the Truth Commission. He's got both belts. He's got Taylor Hendricks. He's got the Truth Martini. He's got Ring of Honor in his hands. Jay Lethal says it doesn't matter who accepts his challenge tonight because he will successfully defend the Ring of Honor TV title. And it's got a 35E plus. And this show is not done as well as I expect it, sadly. Hopefully, someone can do something about this. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. And it's, it's, a bit, it's Big Papa, Pump Scott Steiner. What the fuck? He's here in the 2300 arena. Jay Lethal looks shocked. Scott Steiner flexing those muscles. It's Freak Silla. The, the steroids are popping out of him. And what's this? In a match that had average crowd reaction, some decent in ring action, Scott Steiner defeated Jay Lethal in 12 by submission with a Steiner recliner. Scott Steiner wins the Ring of Honor World Television title. Scott Steiner has debuted his badass gimmick, and it's got an initial. Ooh, 40 fucking six. Jesus Christ. That's piss. <laughs> Scott Steiner was physically tiring towards the end. Uh, the announcing quality left at the match, the color commentary gave the match a boost. This is fairly disappointing. Uh, nobody improved, and then we're moving on. And Scott Steiner grabs the microphone off Jay Lethal. And Scott Steiner is saying that uh, he says that Big Papa Pump's now the main man in this bingo hall promotion. He says, No vanilla ass clown midget or chocolate midget, whatever the hell Jay Lethal is, that half cast son of a bitch could never lace his boots. Scott Steiner says that the rest of the locker room. Can go back to their mama's basements, lifting the, their sissy female dumbbells because the real freak is here. Scott Steiner poses with the muscles. He sees the fans popping out. The fans wrap themselves around that Ring of Honor World Television title as Ring of Honor goes off the air. Scott Steiner walks to the backstage. He gets a 42D. Scott Steiner was very poor when trying to improve dialogue. So there you go. Improvised dialogue. So, eh. Not great there for Scott Steiner. What do you think of his comments, Stephen? Particularly on the vanilla midget or chocolate midget or whatever that half cast son of a bitch is. What do you think of that for Scott Steiner? Is that crossing the line or? Pure quality. Pure quality there. So Scott Steiner, is he a racist? I don't know. Can he speak properly? No. But anyway, let's find out what this show got. Jesus Christ, a 44D. Um, increased their popularity in 36, 39 regions. But it lost its popularity in one region. So a poor Ring of Honor show. But but fuck it guys. We've got Scott Steiner on the roster now. And Scott Steiner can cut you to shreds with his words of annihilation. So um, we're going to see how this compares to the other Ring of Honor shows. Alright guys. And there you can see that show actually ranks as our 10th best Ring of Honor TV show. Down out of 44D, like I say, is one of our poorer shows. I was expecting it to do a lot better than that, and sadly it didn't. Not happy with uh, Scott Steiner's gimmick. I might change it here. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we want a badass gimmick. I think we're going to go ahead and change it. Let's change it right now, because he has the TV champ, and the TV champ does need a good gimmick. Although, I don't know, he might be fired after those uh, controversial comments last week here. But let's see what he can do. Um, let me see here. Anti-authority, anti-tradition. Uh, what the hell would you call this guy? Addict. Uh, African American? No, African American. African American. Af uh, um, oh, American. Yeah. Uh. Uh, what the hell can we give him here? Current gimmick. Uh. I don't know what to give this guy here. Body builder, realistically, yes. Nah. 
Ah, oh, fuck, what, this, what are we supposed to give him? Um. Drama Queen, fuck her. <laughs> we could give him that. Egomaniac, I think that's like probably one that. Really? He doesn't have all the. What the fuck can he work then? Um... Ah, uh, fucking hell, let me find it. Ah, uh, come on. Fitness freak. Um, let me see here. Fucking hell. Struggling here to find something that suits suits uh, Scott Steiner. Oh, come on, fucking hell, why is this just... Pimp, eh... Uh, freak cell, that could maybe work for Scott Steiner. I think we might stick with that one for now, unless we see anything better. I think that's where we're going to, we'll give him this, so. Uh... Well, actually, yeah, it says it's far too soon to consider changing his gimmick again, so you know, we'll just leave it. Maybe, okay, I don't know, maybe it will work. Maybe it's just a bad night at the office for Scott Steiner, so we'll see what happens, but I don't know, it's not looking great. But anyway, guys, till next time, being Son of Scotland 90, so tune in to the next TNA show, and it will be the final show before the pay-per-view, and um, hopefully we can try and sign up Jeff Hardy to a contract, because he wants to leave, he's not happy, and we can't afford to lose him, guys, so until then... Thanks for watching. Peace.